Too low, too low. Hello, everybody. Trying to get set up here to do a live. Do a skip, Jack. There we go. Hopefully, everything's working out okay. If we don't, the wind don't blow us away. The wind is horrible out here, guys. I mean, horrible. Uh, we tried to freeze some skip, Jack. I thought we'd just go live doing it. I'll tell you what. The wind is just beating me up. We got two right here ready to vacuum seal. Uh, we just did a... Uh, Hopefully, if everything turned out right, just did a, a video that we're going to put out, do a production video, put it out next week on this. But we are trying to vacuum seal some skipjack. Let me grab my paper towels right quick, and uh, we'll start talking about what we're doing. Hopefully, we'll get some folks in here. Looks like we got a couple of people in there. Hey, if you can hear me, uh, let me know. Put in the comments that you can hear. And I got to get my paper towels that flew everywhere. I tell you what, we got four people in here. Can comment, let me know if you can hear. Hello, Rex, how you doing? Somebody let me know if you can hear me. Uh, I've got my headphones on trying to knock out some of this doggone wind. It is awful out here, guys. Awful. I'm actually in the least windy spot I can get into. And uh, trying to mess with these skip jack. Hello, everybody. Whoo! So we caught these yesterday. We caught 96 of these rascals. And I mean, they are huge. Wipe them off a little bit. Look at that, over three pounds right there, guys. Monster. Another monster right there, over three pounds. All right, let's get to go vacuum sealing these things up. Oh, looks like we got five people in there. Hey, share us out, if you don't mind. Hit the thumbs up, guys. We caught them yesterday. Caught all these skipjack. We caught 96 of these rascals right here last, yesterday. And uh, last night, really right at dark, was when we caught most of them. Man, that is a big old skipjack right there. Look at that skipjack. <sighs> I cut these bags 18 inches long. Uh-oh. Thought it wasn't going to seal for me. Was using uh, double hook angling jigs. And uh, also some... Uh, Thompson Outdoor and more jigs and Catfish Sumo uh, spoons to catch all these with. But I believe we've got a bunch of them here. Let's put another one up here to be drying off. I like to put them up ahead uh, where I could get them up there, let them be drying off a little bit before I put them in their bags. You don't want these things wet at all. You don't want any freezer birdie going on. And I keep these extra ones and I'll lay them down to absorb more of it. So Guys, I cannot see chat. I apologize for that, but y'all just speak to each other. Look at that big old skipjack right there. Huge skipjack. Put him right back here. Uh, we'll get another bag. I got these bags pre-cut and pre-sealed where I could just, I'll do about 10 or 12 of them at a time and then go run inside. Uh, this is my basement right here and put them in the freezer. You don't want to get them cold or hot at all. You want to keep them as close to froze when you catch them as you can. This one's tail's a little too long, guys. So what I'll do is bring him back out of the bag a little bit. And I'll cut his tail off just a little bit, just like that. And I'll cut that tail off. Gives me a little more room. Saves you from having to make a, a a vacuum bag a little longer. I say these bags are 18 inches long. And uh, as you can see, let's go to vacuum seal that rascal down while that was going. I'll get me another one up here. 
put me some dry towels down. I got towels going everywhere in this wind. And uh, let's see, I got some more right here. And wipe that one down. Another monster. Flip him over, wipe it down again. This one that I've already wiped down, I'm gonna wipe it down again. And then uh, wipe him down on the other side. I'll wipe them down two or three times while I'm vacuum sealing. You can see what that one looks like. Now, this is just a cheap food saver vacuum sealer. I got a five gallon bucket. I'm shoving them down in where they all stay cold. This is just a cheap vacuum sealer. Uh, I have to cut my bags and then uh, seal one in and, uh, and then get them ready is what I do. So let me get a couple more here going. This one I've dried twice. That monster right there, guys. That is a huge skipjack. We had a ball catch of these things yesterday. We was catching them two and three. Another one too long. Two and three times, me and my buddy Russ. And uh, we was uh, found out that the uh, chartreuse was the best color. Uh, this little fly that double hook angling done for me. There used to be 10 of them in there. Son, I'm going to tell you something. These are good flies, but them dang, these big old three pound skipjack was putting a hurt on them. And uh, but that's all right. They work flawless. And then I had a, a Foley spoon, or not a Foley, but a Sumo spoon that uh, I used to get another skipjack up here. They ain't playing no games. They're all huge, guys. They are all huge. Get another towel. Wipe him down. That one's too wet. Don't ever be afraid to use paper towels because you don't want your skip the act run. It's too much work getting out there in the boat or up on the bank and casting over and over to catch a bunch of them. I'm trying to catch a bunch of them for the gathering that we're having May 17th, 18th, and 19th. And I know a lot of you guys know about all that. But uh, where I can give away skipjack to the people that's coming. We're trying to keep the gathering as cheap as we can. And people's coming from out of state. They're not going to probably have bait with them. So I'm trying to catch a bunch up. Keep, I'm going to try to have 200 caught. And uh, Woody's going to try to have about 100, something like that. We can only legally together have 400 of them together at one time, but we're going to catch as many as we can and uh, bring it back to uh, bring them up there to uh, the campground. He'll have 100 or so with him. I'll have 100 or so with me and uh, give them out, guys. Now, how much better could that be? Somebody give you some skipjack for bait and then uh, we're running a $1,000 first place big fish contest. Or if you get second place, it's $500. And if you get third place, well, if you get third place, that's $250. And you don't have to pay a dime to get into it. You can't beat that, can you? Oh, be for sure. I'm going to get up from here and check some of the comments right quick while this is uh, vacuuming and sealing. Let me wipe my hand off just a little bit where I can touch the phone. I want to make sure that everybody can hear what's being said on this headset. Let's get these gloves off. Hey, hey, darling. Oh, I didn't know Koo Cats was live or I would have went and got on with him. Hey, sorry, guys. Uh, well, I apologize that he was doing a live i didn't even know it i've been texting him so uh we yes we can hear you good guys i appreciate the eight people that's in here and james knows i don't just jump on top of his live i didn't realize he was doing a live but uh anyway we're buddies he, he, he's fine i'm sure but uh heck i'll go in on his live for it so we'll I want you guys to look at that skipjack right there. That is a huge, huge skipjack, guys. Let me wipe him down a little bit. And I'll hold him up. 
get this one out of the vacuum sealer. Boom, right in there. I want you to see how big of a skipjack this is. I probably should weigh it. The record skipjack is four pounds and two ounces, I think's what it is. And this has got to be close to four pounds. Probably one of the biggest skipjacks I've ever caught. Look at that right there, guys. That is a monster. That is a monster. All right, let's get another vacuum seal out. Or vacuum bag out. I hope I will have enough bags. I say I pre-cut all these. But uh, anyway, like I say, I will try to give these out at the gather. Let's stick that big old boy in there. Man, we got to cut it. It's tail off, too. I may have to start making these bags a little longer. Oh, well. He'll be all right. Put him right in here. Boom. Vacuum seal him right up, guys. Oh, it's such a windy day. There, wipe him down. Wipe him down. Now I'm going to go back to this one I already wiped down. So important to wipe these things down and get all the moisture off of them. All of it. That right there is done. Look at that, guys. I'm going to vacuum seal this big and then I'm going to run in there and put them in the freezer right quick and come back. I, I got a whole five-gallon bucket full of them. I'll show them to you in just a second. <laughs> It is a bunch of, won't take me just a second right there, I put them in a freezer in my basement. I want you to look at that right there. I might as well cut that tail off. Yeah, get back, yeah, get back here. I might as well cut that tail off right now, because they ain't no way that's fitting in that bag. All right, out then. It is windy out here, guys. Super windy. I've got three coolers of this today. Like I say, I already did some of them before I went live. I uh, did a video. Ooh, I don't know. We'll see if that one vacuum seals or not. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's going to work. Uh, there's a smaller one. Hopefully, I can do two in a pack right there. We're going to try it. Just continue wiping them off. And then put your towels down there and make a pile in there. All right. Skip, skip, jack, skip, jack. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys. I'm going to put these in this five on bucket. And I'm going to show you what they look like. It is a load of them. Let me run, put these in the freezer. Take me about a minute, and I'll be right back, guys. Ooh, maybe y'all can hear me. Probably so. I run in here. I already got a freezer full of them. I'll show you whatever I get done. How many are in this freezer? It is a load of them. And it's about to be another load of them. So, we're going to fill this thing up and hopefully give a bunch of this stuff out it together. That's what I plan on doing anyway. That's a, always been my goal for the gathering to get people and family and friends together and uh, have a good time and. Uh, Try to catch a bunch of big catfish. And everybody just share it together. Man, that is a bunch of skip that right there. So I got those in there. I gotta move some stuff around out of my freezer. I got a bunch of deer burger and sausage. So I'm about to take up another layer in this freezer. And the next is I'll go to 
another freezer, probably Woody's freezer. Get this out of the way. All right. Got that, dude. Get back out and freeze some more. We'll do another five gallons bucket full. I got 60 of them to do. I'm going to save six. It already got 70 in the freezer. So that's going to be 130 so far. I'm back. Hopefully, y'all can still hear me as I was talking in there. Uh, whew. All right, these things right here, I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Actually, here's maybe a smaller one. No, here he is. I don't know. But these skip jack are so big that uh, I like to put two in wood, but kind of hard to do when they're so big and I ain't complaining about the size. Let's see if we get to it here. Let's see if we can. If you drive off right. You guys, I, I say, I know I'm wiping and wiping and wiping, but you don't want them to get freezer burnt. No way, form or fashion. Let's see if we can slide that one all the way up. It'll take this one. It's a little smaller one. That's usually our normal size we catch, but right now that's a small. Yep. Got them in there. Good deal. Ooh, we saved one bag from having to just do a single. Oh, let me wipe some of that out there. So we got a little bit of extra, if you will. Ooh. We want that seal to seal real good, so let's get that cleaned up. Get him in the back and see like right here. Lock it down. Vacuum it up. <laughs> uh, we got I got three coolers. What I did was start out with two, and as we was putting them in, we was putting ice in it, but I felt like we just didn't uh, have enough ice on them. So when I got back to the dock, I took it. I had a third cooler in the truck. And so I divided them out and I put ice on all of them just to keep them as cold as possible. And you want to keep the drain open on your coolers where all the water runs out. So I did all that just to make sure that they stayed good and fresh and cold. This has been dried about three times, so I know he's ready to go. Let me throw this one big one up here. And throw this one in. Ooh, let me dry my hands off just a little bit. I know I got gloves, though, but I don't want to get the bags a bunch of sticky all over. That's why we're drying them off. That big boy there. Who's a big boy? You're a big old boy. That's right. Get another one. Stick it up here. Dry my hand off. Dry heel off. Her, whatever. Dry it off. Just a big old skipjack. Just a big old skipjack. There we go. Dry our hands off. Put that one in there. I'm going to have to cut that tail. I say, I'd rather cut the tail and be safe. And make sure I get a good seal. Because if these things don't seal up good, they will freeze a bird. And then all that works for nothing. I talked to... Uh, John, Catfish Hunters Outdoors, he went over there and uh, they caught some, not a whole lot. Uh, and Bob went over for a little while today. They caught a few. They might, must not have been as, be as good as, or it wasn't this morning as it was yesterday evening. As the day goes on, it may get better. But uh, I know I've talked to a lot of people that's had a lot of, uh, caught a lot of them. So hopefully. People won't waste them. They'll try to take good care of them. You don't want them to go soft on you for sure. There with the scissors in the floor. That's all right. Or on the ground. All right. Dry it off. Good to go. Another good one. Vacuum sealed. Ready to go. Appreciate everybody in here. I may be bored. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought people might want to see how 
we vacuum sealed these things and just kept drying and drying. Oh, I'm a dry to dry, crazy guy, kind of guy. Let's see if we get two more of this one. Who knows? Heck. Let me get the scissors right quick. Go ahead and cut the tail on this one. Grab this one up, cut the tail on it. Boom. Uh, let's throw this one in there. I'm going to have a yard full of day. paper towels where this wind is blowing. I hope it's not too loud on you guys out there. I say once again, everybody, thanks for coming in. Hey, check out James over there. I didn't know he was live, but sounds like he's got a live going on too. I talked to him earlier and he didn't tell me he had a live going on. So, hey, we got two in there. So back them silly them bad boys up. Get in there. Boom. Boom. Vacuum. Yeah, when you leave here, go check him out. Guys, if you enjoy this, and share us out. I say, I just thought we'd do a live. Boy, howdy. We ain't even got started good. Well, we got started good, but still, a lot to go. Let's bring one of these monsters up here. Woo -wee. Look at that. Big old monster. Let's bring another one out. Another monster. Man, there are just so many in there. Well, the water or ice has melted since I had that top up. So there's a little water down in there, but they haven't been in it long. So making sure get that all off of them. Well, that sealer is just not sealing for some reason. Let me see if I can run it again. There we go. Sometimes you gotta redo them two or three times. Come on now. I don't believe it's gonna seal, guys. That's getting on my nerves. I don't know about y'all. Let me get these wiped down one more time and I'll see what's going on. Let's see if I can fix this. All right, now. There we go. I probably had a wrinkle in it somewhere. She's a going now, though. There we go. She's a sealing them up. Finally, how she'll glue up. All right, come on. I have to wait on it to seal up. There she is. Well, now that's a chuck right there. Hey, we like them. Grab another bag. I tell you what, when I, I like pre-cutting them like this and uh, then pre-sealing them. It makes the job so much better and easier, for sure. And we'll put this in there. It's a little smaller one, and I got another little smaller one. Put them two in there, and then I got a big one. It's got to go by itself. There ain't no way it's going to. Hey, let me cut the tail on this in here. Whack. All right, get them in there, just like that. Put them in that vacuum sealer. Our best look last night was right about an hour and a half before dark. We uh, we filled up a uh, a 55 quart cooler, plugged to the top. It took us about three and a half hours to do that, and then we went back, got this 70 quart cooler, 
it filled it up in about an hour and a half. So right at dark, they were really hitting a lot better. So that was a good thing. Put that one up there. Wipe them down, guys. Wipe them down. Always wiping them down. Always getting that slime and wet off of them. Always. There we go. Another one goes in the bucket. All right. Both of these are going to be monstrous, huge skip jack. They're both going to have to just go by themselves. No way we're going to get that done. Let's get them scissors out. Uh, get them scissors out. Prove that tail off just a little bit. We'll do this in here too, ahead of time. Put that brand new paper towel right there where I can use it. All right, get him put in there. All right, buddy, you go to work. We'll turn that around that way. Wipe, wipe, wipe. But, uh, see Big Mike out there. He was a pounding them left and right, too, last night. A lot of the Tennessee guys was out trying to catch Skipjack last night and today. We got that tournament, that Udo tournament Saturday, guys. Uh, I'll be fishing on Brian B's channel. So, uh, be sure to tune in there. I think Cool Cats. James is going to be on Brian B's also. So, uh, you guys tune in and see what kind of antics we get in. I got to, I want to try a different way. See, I don't know. It's hard strategy to figure out what you're going to do when you're doing the Udo stuff. I mean, gosh, you could lose a fish or gate a fish. And I, I just really don't know how I want to go at it. I've got a little plan that I'm going to try to follow, and we'll just see how it goes. It go from there. Because, uh, man, that's a crazy name, Uno Tournament. I don't know about all that. So hopefully we can get in the middle of that and uh, do okay. We'll see. You know, the main thing about when you're out there fishing, it didn't cost me a dime to get in that tournament. I'm fishing against my friends, and I'm going to have a good time. That's the biggest thing. You can take that kind of stuff too serious. And it, you start turning where you all you try to do is win, win, win. And shoot, you can turn yourself where you're not having no fun. I think I'm going to have fun, win, lose, or draw. You know, the only thing I ever say is I just don't want to get skunked. But other than that... I've fished a lot of tournaments, and you know, you ain't going to win them all. And heck, with me, my winning percentage is way lower than anything else. I guess it's right there, a lot lower than my IQ even, so it is what it is. But that cooler is empty, guys. And so uh, I'm going to take this one and put it in there. And then I got two more. I'll get this cooler out of the way, and we'll bring another one out. And we'll get started on it. So, uh, shoot. I'm telling you, I hope, like I say, the gather, we have lots of bait. Guys, if you had not made plans to come to the gathering in Hickson, Tennessee, on the 17th, 18th, and 19th, you need to make plans and get you a hotel room, an Airbnb, a campsite, uh, free food, free bait, as well, much as I got, I can bring uh, a free biggest fish contest, longest fish contest, first place $1,000, second place $500. Uh, third place, 250 If you want more information, hey, go on Facebook to my Facebook site, uh, Daryl Morris, and uh, message me there or go to Trophy Seekers Outdoors. We even have the gathering group that you can go on. Any of them three ways you can get a hold of me if you need information on it. We're going to have a great time. Let me go throw these back into the freezer, and uh, we'll grab out another cooler and freeze some more, guys. Whew. Old man like me, it's hard to get up and down. We're going to go in here. I got a big spot planned to put these at. And uh, 
I say, when we get done, I will try to bring you into my messy basement. My mother and father died about a year and a half ago, and I got all their stuff from the house inside this basement. It's antiques and tools and stuff that uh, I just couldn't mentally get rid of, just to be honest and straight up about it. And uh, I might one day decide to, but right now it's staying here. And uh, so, just the way it is. They had old churns and antique stuff. And I say, I couldn't let go of it. So, it is what it is. And, uh, of course, I got a bunch of my stuff in here too. But, anyway... Uh, if I wasn't junky, I wouldn't know what to do. So, let's set this one down. I'm back, guys. Let's set this one down. Move this cooler over out of the way. Whew. And we'll get this cooler off. Oh, Lord. Make sure this cockpit's open. That way, as the dry as the ice melts with this open, I can it'll all drain out, and I'll wash all this down when I get through. Uh, so let's open this cooler up. Uh, it's full of skipjack too. Like I didn't know that. <laughs> like I didn't know it. Ooh, I might cut some bags here in a little bit, too. Let's grab a couple of these out of that ice. Ooh, that cold. I said they're all giant skipjack. You take these and bait four or five rods with them if they're not hitting big. I'll probably... Use them for about three rods. I'll cut them up three. I like to use big bait when I'm throwing for catfish. Try to catch those big catfish. These gloves I got on ain't much good. They tore a little bit. But that's all right. Keep wiping and wiping. There we go. Get another bag. Uh, let's get them scissors. There they are. Because I know this has got to be trimmed. Just like that. Uh, we got a. Look at that, guys. That's with the tail cut off. Whoa! I didn't have to trim that one. Let me put this in here. This is a longer bag. I, it was at the end of a row, so. I always put this big one in there. It was at the end of the row, so I just rolled it on off. I said, well, I might have a big one. So this is a bigger one. Skip jack here, so shut it down. Vacuum seal it in while I'm getting another one. I say the coolers ain't totally full. Now, I actually gave, uh, or I, I didn't give. He caught them. Uh, Russ took 30 of them with him. So, I wound up with 66, and he took 30, so. Because we caught 96 all together. So, that's how I'm going to wind up with just 60 instead of 96. But I tell you what, we was wore out time we got through. With some wore out men. The older I get, the easier I am to wear out anyway. But when you catch a skip jack like that right there, you'll wear out quick. My fingers where the rod fit between it was hurting. We just kept fishing though. We figured we had over a hundred, but 
We stopped and had 96. That was pretty good, though. You can't, can't complain about that. There we go. Just vacuum sealed right up. She'll be fresh. No, no freezer burn. People say, well, I want to use mine and, you know, within a month or so when you freeze it. Would you vacuum seal these things? They're good. I mean, I, I'd like to use mine up within a year for sure. I'm going to anyway. I mean, as much as I fish. But, uh, I mean, it's like pork or beef or anything like that. It's going to stay froze. And, uh, you know, it'll stay good for you. You ain't got to worry too much about that. Whew, another big one here. Keep wiping. I'll have to go get some paper towels. This is ain't quite as big. Whoa! Slippery feller. Went to the ground. He went to the ground. That blooper. I think he come back alive. Whoop, whoop. Get in there. All right. That one's down. Well, let me turn this over. Seems like I'm always struggling. But you know, life's a struggle sometimes. It is what it is. You just got to enjoy it as it comes. Try to make as many friends as you can and treat people right. And have a good time. But always have fun uh, if you can. These ties will be serious. I know that. But if we can have a good time in life, we need to have one. We're not here on this earth long enough to just be old grumpy. All right, that got sealed up. I think I could put two of these in. I really believe well, this is a smaller one and not quite as big as the others has been being. Let's see if we can shove these two in there. We could tail off this. One. There we go. Thought I cut my finger for a minute there. All right. Get your nose up in there. You get over there. You get up in there. Well, we'll see. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We'll see. There's only one way to find out. Uh, I got this so far forward, it's hard for me to... Let's see what happens. I may have to change that out. I think it's going to work. I just noticed one of them 96 is a white bass. So uh, I'll save it and fish with it tomorrow. So I'll have just, I say I'm going to save six out to fish with anyway. So one of them, but I'll just save that white bass in there. And uh, that way I'll have something different. I also got some processed carp I'm going to try tomorrow from a, a Blue River carp. See how that works out. All right.
right, here we go again. I got two bags left. I'm going to have to cut up some more bags. I'll show you all how I handle that just as soon as I get these put up. Boom. That wood's killer, guys. There we go. Vacuum that one. I say we got one more bag and we'll go put these in there. Then I'll show y'all how I do my bags. Seal them up. Show you something here in a minute too that's really crazy. That was on one of these. After I get this bagged up here. One more to go. This is my last bag. Don't I cut some more? I hope I got enough bags. If not, I may have to go to Wally World and get some of them high dollar food saver bags, which I do not want to do, but if I have to, I will. I order my bags off Amazon. I ordered 100 feet. Boy, I started catching skip, Jack, and I've about used all the 100 feet that I ordered, so I have to order some more. Show you something. It's a freshwater eel. Well, I guess it's, it's some type of sucker. Some type of sucker there that was old little skipjack. They called it an eel, I guess it is, but it was suctioned up to one of those skipjacks that we caught. It's crazy. Y'all put in the comments what you think that is. It was got a little suction on its head. Uh oh, I dropped it. Whatever y'all think that might be. Uh, all right. Let me take these in here, put them up again, and I'll be right back. And I'll show y'all how I cut my bags. And it would probably end this thing, but it's really, I say, this is the cheapest uh, version of food saver you get. And uh, it's lasted me for about three years now, so it's good. I've had them more, I, I had one of the more expensive food savers, and it gives me fits. And actually, we got one in there that we use for vegetables. But about half time, it works half time. It don't. This does a wider cut. So I did away with it. So, or it's still there, but I ain't using it. Let me go put these in here and I'll be right back. We'll cut up some bags and I'll show you what I got in the freezer. A lot of work. I can see why they charge four to eight dollars a skipjack at these tackle stores because it is a lot of work. Let me get these gloves off right quick. I get the roll of, I throw them up in the truck. I got paper towels flying everywhere. Let me grab some of them before I, the wife comes out and kills me. I don't blame her. Try to stay on the good side of the wife, you know. It's always good when you want to go fishing. Uh, so, well, there went the paper towels again. All right, whatever. Get the release down in that five gun bucket. Shut these this cooler back up. I'm cutting them up. All right, so I buy them in the rolls, and uh, the wind will quit blowing. I'll sit down here, and I've got my pre-measured mark. There's a little bitty black mark here. I don't, probably can't see it on camera. And then I go to the seam. I roll this out. And get the spoons over here. But I roll this out. 
and I just get in the center of that seam. Boom, she's done. I flip it over where it'll straighten it out some and put the double hook angling on there. To do it again. Right there, get right in that seam. That way I know I'm cutting a straight line. Boom. There we go. There we go. Just like that. I want to say again, I'm sorry I can't read chat. I'm just too far away from the phone. I knew to be able to make this video that I wouldn't be able to. So I apologize in the beginning. I got a little wild on that one. Just a little. Right to that mark. I'll put my hand right down here. Get my scissor. If you got good scissors, you can just you don't even have to make a little cut and then start zipping through it. The sharp scissors will they make your day a lot better. That's for sure. Tell you what, we probably had as almost as many get off at the boat as we actually brought in, I tell you, skip jacket. Not like any other fish you ever do. You're gonna miss a percentage of them. I don't care if you got good hooks, the sharpest hook. They don't call them the Tennessee tarpon for nothing. Them things will come out of the water jumping. And uh, if somebody's got a better way to keep them on the hook than what I got, you can let me know. I've got these sickle hooks. That's what the uh, uh, double hook angling has a sickle hooks. So I've used the circle hooks that guys has got and uh, they all come off. So you just want to get a hook that you feel like is the best for you and a good sharp one and uh, go from there for sure. I'm going to cut this whole roll up. It won't take just a second. Okay, maybe a couple minutes. But if you're in here watching this, you're probably bolder than I am. <laughs> I'll just bore you some more. But I tell you what, it's the quickest way I know to do what I'm, I can do is just roll these rascals out. Like I say, I hope I have enough because. I say Walmart is a lot more expensive than buying off the off brand. They just got the food saver, and uh, it's about double what I get off of uh, Amazon. And I tell you, I can't tell a difference. I don't ever have no problems with them. I vacuum seal bluegill. I vacuum seal. That's the end of that row. I vacuum seal bluegill. I vacuum seal uh, shad. I vacuum sealed it all. And people say, well, you can't catch fish with bluegill after you, after, if you freeze them. But hey, we've caught a 60 something pounder off of a vacuum seal bluegill. So they might say that, but I have to disagree with them. So just is what it is you know how it goes everybody's got their own ideas and whatever works for you i ain't gonna judge you for it so as long as it's not hurting me or anybody else if that's what you like that's what you, it works for you that's what you need to do i'm gonna put this tackle box here on top That's the same thing with fishing rods and fishing line and hooks, sinkers. I tell people I'm sponsored by Catfish Sumo and, and man, I, I like their hangry hooks and their sinkers and their line. And they got some really nice swivels and stuff. He's thought out of the box on a lot of stuff what it is. But if that's not your deal, then don't get it. But if it is, I can save you some money. Everything that you get from Catfish Sumo, uh, 
the price includes the shipping. So if you buy a box of hooks, there's no shipping at the end of it. But there's a cold area. And if you go in there and you buy something, you put TSO 10 in there, you get 10% off. So not only is it no shipping price. I mean, if you catch, if you buy a rod, if you can't buy one of the catfish sumo rods, a catfish sumo seal, uh, reel, I hit seal on that a lot to say, and was saying seal. Anything you buy from them is a uh, 10 off of TSO. Uh, guys, and I'll tell you, they some good folks out there. We've got some great sponsors for the, the gathering. Uh, I want to do a shout out to Monster Rod Holders. Mr. Steve Douglas has really went all out to help us out to raise what we did. Uh, the Big Fish Contest is the Monster Rod Holder Big Fish Contest. Uh, after him, because he done so much to help us raise money, plus he's given money also in it. He uh, gave us a booth, gave us a booth at CatCon as part of our sponsorship. And we was able to raffle stuff off there and uh, to be able to do what we're doing. Uh, not, I say, plus he's giving money also. And a shout out to a lot of our sponsors out there that's doing that also. But Monster Rod Holders is our main sponsors and I, I can't uh, call all the others out, but a big shout out. Thanks to Steve guys. Go over to Monster Rod Holders, get you a, a hydro net. Man, I use the 150 and love it. A lot of people say, oh, that thing's too big. Well, we caught a hundred pound catfish about two and a half months ago. And I was glad we had the Hydro 150 to get that Hondo in there. You know, the Hydro for the Hondo. And uh, his rod holders are second to none. I mean, you know, half inch shafts on them. And you ain't going to be in one of them. Don't have to worry about the wearing off the rubber i've had mine on for three years and hadn't wore it off now, i'd say if you was in it 10 years or if you leave them out in the weather i put my boat up guys anything you leave out is going to weather or wear out so if you can keep your boat covered up or keep your uh, stuff in the side it's going to last you a lot longer shoot this stuff costs a lot of money so there's no use in uh, letting it run and uh, I've learned that through the hard way. I used to didn't take care of my stuff and then be all upset because it messed up. And I didn't have really nobody to blame but myself, for sure. I see a lot of comments going through on the on the chat. And I appreciate everybody that's come in here. But uh, guys, there's not many places left to go these days to have a good time that's going to be, you know, that don't cost you nothing. But if you can get down to the gather, I can promise you this, lunch on Saturday is going to be barbecue, and it's going to be hot dogs. We're, we're, we're going to smoke 100 pounds of barbecue. We're going to cook 200 hot dogs, and we're going to have all the fixings. And that ain't going to cost you a dime. All you got to do is get there. Your bait, I'll give out bait as long as I can to save you money there. The big fish contest is not going to cost you a dime. We're going to have all kind of door prize and yeah i'm jumping all over the place because that's just what i'm doing but you guys come on down and, and enjoy that and uh, gosh if you're ever in tennessee hit me up if i can go fishing with you i'll take you out fishing might not catch nothing can't guarantee you take you out and catching i said i'll take you out fishing i can't never tell if i'm going to catch them or miss them we haven't been skunked but two times in four years and that's because we were uh, fishing one time in a place that I had never fished before, and uh, I was just starting out and uh, didn't catch that. And then about a year ago, I got skunked. And on the Tennessee River, that's the only two times I ever got skunked in four years. So I can say we're going to most likely catch anything. And uh, I'm going to take people out at the gathering also. We've got a bunch of boats that said they would... Uh, take people out we got about five boats of people that said they'll take people out in the morning and evening you just got to hit me up and let me know if you're coming and i will uh put you down and we'll take you out fishing and hopefully put you on a big fish i can't promise you a hondo i can't even i promise you a 20 pound catfish but i'll promise you this 
we're going to go see some beautiful sights and we're going to have a great time doing it for sure. For sure. I got about four more of these bags to seal, guys, and then I'll take you in there and show you all the skipjack we got. I still got about 10 in here and about, I don't know how many over there, 30 maybe. I'll show you what I got left in the coolers. And, uh, and we'll cut this thing out. You're probably tired of hearing me. She, my wife gets tired of hearing me every once in a while. That's why I have to come outside. I'll tell you what, it's cold out here too. If the wind wasn't blowing, it'd be fine. But uh, it's kind of cool. It's actually slowed down a little bit, so that's good. Guys, if you like what like we're doing, like I say, if you would, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to us, we appreciate it. If you did, don't cost you a dime. It's just like the gather. We're going to try to give you all we can. <laughs> all right. I don't know what they, I hope, I hope, I hope that uh, this is enough bags and then I can just order some off of Amazon. You know, Amazon, I'll order some Amazon and uh, save about half the money. I get 100 feet for about $17 and I might get 25 feet for $17 on that name brand food saver stuff. So. Ain't this exciting sitting and watching me seal bags. This makes it go so much better and I don't have to have a cooler open so long if I'm sealing them, then putting them in, then seal them again. Uh, I say I want to do everything as fast as I can when I'm doing skipjack. Anybody that's just going in, let me show you these skipjack. They are monsters. When I say monster, I'm talking three pounders out there. Monsters. We had a good day yesterday. We caught 96 of them rascals. Get this paper towel. Keep forgetting slime everywhere. We caught 96 of them rascals yesterday. 95 in a, uh, a uh, excuse me, 95 in a white bass. So I'm wrong. 95 in a white bass. That's a good day as far as I'm concerned. And then we'll go in there and I'll show you what all them skipjack look like in a freezer. Can't keep but in Tennessee, but 200, even though I'm in Georgia. But like I say, Russ has got some of them and Woody will have some of them. So. We ain't gonna break no laws. We're just trying to help everybody out, give them some skipjack. I know one thing, yeah, I am about to freeze to death. When I get through here, I'm gonna go get me a jacket on. That wind is rough. There's the last one. That's the last bag vacuum seal, guys. So I'm gonna come up there and grab the phone, show you what we got. Let me get this other cooler. Let me grab this other cooler right quick. And uh, we'll get the phone and show you what's in it. Lord of mercy. Open the drainage plug on it again. In the truck. I didn't want to open it in the truck. There we go. They unplug this phone, guys. Look at that. That cooler is half full. And like I said, the ice is melted out a little bit, but man, it's stacked in there. Some big, nice, big fat ones. And then still got several in this one here. So good deal. Let me flip the phone around, see if I can figure out how to flip it around. Let's see if that, yeah, that flipped. All right, everybody, close your eyes. Don't be looking inside here because it is nasty. I say my mother and father passed away and I've got all their antique stuff and generators, and wash stand and everything in here. This place is uh, just a mess. I'll clean it up one day. 
But like I say, I couldn't get rid of it. I want you to look at all that skipjack right there. And I still got enough to fill that right there full. But we're going to be bringing a bunch of it to the gather. That's a bunch of deer meat that I got sausage and ground beef. But there's my ice I always take with me to put this on, put on the skipjack. But that's a bunch of dang skipjack for sure, guys. Yep, that's a lot, double double hook angling. Hey, old Dustin, how you doing? How you doing? Let's see who else is in here. Uh, Woody, what's up, buddy? Hey, Monty, how you doing, brother? Whoo, bunch of folks in here. Got 17 folks. All right, guys, I'm going to flip this thing around. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Uh, shoot, we stayed live for a little over an hour. I just want to show y'all how I vacuum seal my skipjack when we buy them. Hey, Rex. And, uh, hey, I, I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know where to get some monster deer meat. Hey, I got some deer meat. I like deer meat. I love the back straps. Hey, if I'm going to harvest something, I'm going to eat it or I'm going to give it to somebody that does. Hey, thank you, Dustin. I appreciate it. So uh, y'all have a great day, and I appreciate everybody out there. I love y'all as always. And uh, hey, have a good time, whatever you do. Hey, this life's just short, and let's just make sure we have a good time at it. And uh, hey, tell somebody you love them. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, we're going to do you in that tournament tomorrow. I'll be on Brian B's channel starting at 6 p.m., and it goes till midnight. And uh, hopefully we'll do good, and we'll see you guys then.